Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So first, thank you so much for subscribing and I really appreciate it. In today's video, I'm going to talk about another ESL teaching stuff and I'll be sharing with you another ESL platform that accepts non-native English speakers like us Filipinos. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I post new videos about online teaching and side hustles. All right, now I'm back. So the company that I'm talking about is Ingo. In this video specifically, we are going to talk about the requirements, the qualifications, and the payment schedules or payment methods and the rates and like that. So let's get to it. Uh, Ingo is formerly known as Vivo Global Opportunity. It's one of the biggest and fastest growing online English school in the Philippines and Japan. So they offer one-on-one -on -one language lessons to students from all over the world. And that being said, you could have students from Japan, Korea, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, Taiwan, Turkey, Spain, India, and yes, wherever parts of the world. So um, they aim to teach English to second language learners, young or old students and professionals. So their materials are based on their students needs and interests and lessons are provided to their own platform which they call the bellbird so that's a lesson room that's integrated with ingo's original learning materials to make online learning easy and fun so it's a web-based platform so you don't have to download any software you can conduct classes using your browser so it takes less space on your computer or desktop so next is that um, the study is geared towards teaching conversational English, business English, reading and writing skills, listening and speaking skills. We have the grammar and vocabulary or useful language expressions and idioms and even exam review classes like the IELTS, TOEFL and TOEIC. So that's pretty much about uh, a little background of Ingo. So now let's go to the benefits. So what are the benefits if you work in Ingo? So first is slots are open 24 seven. So even at midnight or dawn or early in the morning, you conduct classes. There are really students during these times because again, students are global. So they come from all over the world with different time zones. So expect that when you open, even if you open, um, hours before the slot that you want to have your classes you can still be booked because there are many students and next we have flexible schedule so this means that you are the boss of your time so you can teach whenever and wherever you want there's no minimum teaching hours but at least open one slot in a cutoff to keep your account active so that's very convenient and Yes, yeah, so what else? Uh, the peak hours are 5, yeah, it's 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Philippine time and 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. But you can open slots 24-7. That's really up to you. Again, no minimum teaching hours. Next is full-time or part-time. So you can choose to work full-time or part-time. It's really up to you. But of course, you have to take classes that you can really attend to. And as long as your body can handle long hours of work, you can open slots morning till evening. Just don't forget about your health features. Yes, health must come first. Must come first. And next we have no experience needed so they don't require applicants to have a teaching experience but having a teaching experience is an advantage for it will be easier for you to conduct classes if you have the background in teaching um, students undergraduates can still apply as long as you are at least 18 years old next is no teaching certificates needed so you may be worried that you do not have any teaching certificates 
Well, that is okay because they don't require you to have teaching certificates as long as you are proficient in the English language. All right. And next is lesson materials are provided. So it's in the website. You don't have to worry about preparing lesson materials because they uh, already prepared it for us. So they're they're also teaching there are also teaching notes that will guide you in your discussions. You can see it there in the lesson material as well. And next is there's no need to download any applications because their platform is web based. You can just teach using your browser. So whether it's Chrome, Edge, Brave, Opera, etc. So they have their web based platform which they call the Bellbird, which is very easy to navigate. And you won't have a hard time navigating it because, again, it's easy. All right, next we have global students. So again, students come from all over the world. So you get to meet students with different culture, nationality, ages, levels. But most of the students here in Ingo are Japanese. Next are Koreans. Thailand, um, Thais, and Vietnamese, and Taiwanese, and what else? I've also had students uh, from India and Turkey as well. All right, so let's have the next one. So what are the requirements if you want to apply in Ingo? So first is that you need to be at least 18 years old. So Ingo does not require so much requirements. They even accept um, undergrad students as long as you are 18 years old of legal age. You can apply. All right. Next is that you need to be proficient in the English language because that is also important. Being able to communicate clearly using the English language because that will that is what you are going to teach to your students. All right. You don't have to be. You don't need to have the a native accent as long as you can communicate an English proficient you ha, you are efficient with the language and you can communicate clearly all right next is you need to have your tax identification number because this is necessary for your tutor account to be activated so they have this rule that if you don't have a tin there's no activation but you can still apply even if you don't have TIN. You just have to process it during your application, especially if you pass a demo lesson. Because in my case, um, I applied without my TIN. And then I passed the language test. I passed the demo lesson. And after that, um, I registered my account as a tutor. But then it was not yet activated because I need to pass my TIN. So I processed it first. And it took me months two months i guess yes because there has been a problem with the process because yes it's pandemic and they have you know a shortage of people so it took me around um i signed the contract last august but i started teaching in september yes so don't worry you have six months you have six months to process your entire tutor account activation and after I got my TIN, I submitted it and it was approved. So then that was the time my tutor account was activated. So if you don't want to have any problem, you can um, get your TIN first or you can just have it if you pass a demo lesson already. So for those who does not, uh, okay, for those who does not have any TIN yet, you can get it to BIR and to the nearest RDO in your place where you conduct your business, your classes, okay? So next is you need, for the equipments, you need to have your own desktop and laptop. We are not allowed to teach using our mobile phones, so make sure you have your own desktop and laptop teachers. Um, they don't require any specific, um, you know, um, specifications for your laptops or desktop as long as it's working and as long as it's not it's not uh, it's it's not what you call this one it's not lag <laughs> so it's okay all right next we have noise canceling headset so this is important to reduce or minimize 
or cancel any background noise. But I've also seen or heard that some tutors or teachers using the ordinary earphones. They are using the ordinary earphones and they say it's okay as long as as long as it does not capture any background noise. So you are, you know, so you can also download the Chris um, application to your browser. So you can search it over the over the internet. Next is web camera. So since the classes are video classes, you need to have your own web camera, either internal or external web camera. Just make sure it's working and it's clear. Yes, um, classes here in Ingo are video classes, but there are special occasions or times that the student would have the audio class. They will request for you to turn off your camera because maybe they're not comfortable. It's okay as long as you can, you can firm it with them. In, some, uh, in, a, in a rare case, um, some students would... Uh, uh, so again, in rare cases, there are students who would like to have the chat-based uh, um, teaching. So they'll ask you to just communicate through chat in the platform in your lesson room. But that's very rare. Most of the time, it's video classes, okay? And, and even if the student will turn off their camera, you need to turn on your camera as well. Okay, especially if they want to have the video class, your camera on. Okay, next we have, what else? All right, next is the internet. So you need to have a high-speed internet connection against the Tokyo server. So you can check it out in speedtest.io. Uh, you can have your Wi-Fi or LAN as long as it's at least one Mbps tested against Tokyo server via the speed test via speed test so that's it for the requirements it's you know it's very easy requirements uh is you know yeah <laughs> okay next we have the payment so for the payment your salary will be sent to gcash that's for new tutors before um they use bpi but currently for new tutors we have the gcash so this on the sixth day and the twentieth day, that's the first cut off. Your payment will be sent on the last day of the month. So that's either the thirtieth or the thirty-first day of the month. And for cut off twenty-first to the fifth of the month, it will be on the fifth of the following month. Uh, but if payout day is weekend or holiday, it will be given in advance. All right. Next is the rate. So here in Ingo, we conduct 25 minute classes and that's one on one and the pay is 60 pesos. So basically in an hour, you could have 120 pesos because yeah, two slots per hour, 25, 25, 50, and there is five minute breaks in between. So that's the fixed rate teachers, tutors, there is no leveling system here in Ingo. So that's the exact rate, okay? No leveling system. Unlike other ESL companies that if you meet a certain criteria or a certain number of classes, you can go rank up, level up. Here in Ingo, we don't have that. That's the fixed rate, no leveling system, okay? Next is we have the incentives. So in Ingo, we also have incentives, uh, the no cancellation bonus. So you'll be given 500 pesos incentive if you conduct at least 100 lessons without cancellations in one cutoff. Okay, again, 500 pesos incentive if you conduct at least 100 lessons without cancellations in one cutoff. All right, next is the conducted lesson incentive. So that's another 500 pesos incentive if you conduct at least 100 lessons in one cutoff, even with cancellations, as long as it's 100 lessons. All right, next is the guaranteed booking incentive, 500 pesos, that's for new tutors. So within one month of activation, the tutor must open at least 200 slots, okay? 
So that will be 500 pesos. And lastly is the referral incentive of 500 pesos. Every successful tutors that you that you can refer. All right, next. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much about the payment. Uh, we also have the deduction. So here in, here in Ingo, we also have the deduction. So the deductions can either be cancellation penalty. So if you cancel a book class, there will be a deduction of 20 pesos per canceled class. But there is a system for the cancellation penalties, which I would probably make another, you know, another video about it. Because there, there is, there, there is um, specific uh, rules about the cancellation. It could either be 20 pesos or 60 pesos, something like that. And I'll be making another video about that. Next is the withholding tax. All right. Uh, yes, withholding tax. So every cut off, uh, you will be deducted 10%. That's the 10% tax deduction, but you can submit your BIR documents if you want to avail the tax exemption. All right, so there's another process for that, and I will make another video about that. Next is the deduction adjustments. So if there is discrepancies, you can see that in your payment, uh, payment page as well. And, and one thing is that, all right, one thing teachers, if the student is absent, or there's no um, no show you will be paid for the full lesson fee which is 60 pesos let's let's say if you have applied for the tax exemption so let's say 60 pesos so you will be paid for full lesson fee okay all right what else so now let's talk about the application process just an overview so first is that you need to create your account or register in ingo.com app slash teach slash apply. So you can see here in your screen, you can go that you can go to that um, link, check it out, create an account and register your basic personal information such as your name, nationality, and you'll also need your ID for verification purposes. Then after you create your account, you would have the next part which is the English and internet connection test. So check, this is to check that your browser and internet connection are compatible with the system and then do a quick automated English test. So we call that the language test. So you, you, will, you will answer two questions. So before, so before during my time when I was, um, uh, when I was applying for in Ingo, um, uh we have 20 20 times we have but i guess it's 20 yes we have 20 chances in answering the questions but currently um you'll be given four chances okay four chances and in every chance for example you in the first question you answered it and when you reviewed it you didn't like it you want to change you want to retake so that's another chance second chance and uh, make sure i uh, take note that if you would um retake uh, if you if you retake you will get another set of questions so questions are not repeated so that's the vocabulary and expression test you'll be given some words you need to describe it you give the you'll be given some idioms or phrases sentences and you need to explain it something like that but it's but it's easy it's okay if um if you are proficient in the english language you can you can explain it yeah mm -hmm. so don't worry we will be talking about that in our next videos next is receiving training materials so um after you have your language desk you need to submit yeah you can you need to click the submit button and after that wait for days and week so before when i applied in ingo uh the process um the reply took around three days yeah then they will tell you if you pass or fail and currently um ingo is in limited um yeah so today is october 
yeah, October 2021. So Ingo is in limited hiring scale. So expect delays in the responses, but they are not freeze hiring. It's just that um, because of their backlogs, um, they tend to reply slower than the previous months. So if you pass the language test, you will receive an email and you will receive the training materials. You will be invited for a training. So wait to be contacted, contacted by the tutor recruitment team who will send you links to the self-guided training materials if you pass the language test. Okay, next is fourth, complete the training and demo lesson. So you need to join a training session with a team and then conduct a demo lesson to show that you have understood the training materials. But for this part, it's a self-study training. So they will send you links which you need to review before your demo lesson. Okay, so in demo lesson, um, there's there's also another process for that. You could have the um, um, the recruiter will act as a student. You could have either the free conversation or the daily news material. So let's not just talk about that more in here. Let's focus first on the first part of the application. If you pass the language test, then that's the time we're going to talk about the demo lesson and I'll be making another video about that. Next is, yeah, if you pass the demo lesson, you will start teaching. You need to pass your video introduction, your written introduction, your photos, and create your register, your tutor account, sign the contract, and then set your availability on the tutor site and wait for students to start booking your lesson and have your first day in teaching. All right, so that's, yeah, so that's pretty much about um, the Ingo requirements and qualifications and the application process. So if you pass a demo lesson, um, you'll be told to create your tutor account. So please don't forget to, or it's up to you teachers. Please don't forget to put my tutor name as the one who refer you, my referral details, that's Shay, and my tutor ID, which is P1010.4. It's up to you if you want to put that. If you want to, thank you so much. All right, so that's it. Pretty, that's pretty much about it. Thank you so much for listening and watching this. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. So I will be making another video about the entire application process. So just, just click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post it. So yeah, I think that's all. And I wish you luck on your application process in Ingo. And I hope that you will succeed. <laughs> all right, thank you so much teachers. And I hope to see you again. Bye.